Okay, folks, today we're gonna refurnish this headlight. This headlight's off a 98 Aqua Integra. Um, let me get it closer. Notice how they're really yellow. Usually, what happens when you have plastic lenses, but they don't crack as easy as glass. Um, normally, there's kit out there that you can buy where you sand it. Yeah, you sand it and you polish it. it comes with, you know, with its own polishing stuff. Uh, you could do it that way. I find that I have more success doing it this way. What I do is, you still gotta sand it. What I do is, I use a 1600 or a 1500 grit sandpaper. I wet sand it. Um, this is not too bad. This is just yellowing. Now, if you have one of those where you can see the clear coat kind of cracking like that. Uh, you might want to start with an 800 grit uh, and if it's a big headlight you can use a DA uh, use an 800 grit DA it and then come back with a 1500 and remove all your 800 scratches um, at the end of the day you want to finish off with a 1500 it is a lot easier and instead of me polishing it I clear coat it again uh, you know, normally I would have just bust out the gun and mixed me up some clear coat, but since today is a special do it yourself special, you might not have, some of you might not have a gun out there. You know, you might be just want to do it with your own headlight. So I got this at O'Reilly's Dupe Color Perfect Match. It works almost just as good as, you know, a gun sprayed clear coat. Uh, so let me go ahead and wet sand this 1500 and I'll come back okay um, when you're sanding this first thing you want to do is get yourself a wet rag and give it a good wipe like, see like right there it's, it's got some shit on it uh, you just don't want it to you know you're, you start hitting it with 1500 and you've got some big stuff like a big piece of rock or a bug um, you have to pardon me it's holding a hand and I'm doing this through the screen so takes a little bit of getting used to you know, it's like me watching myself at the same time I'm actually doing it at the same time so it's live so I notice how still got still got a little bit of stuff there so you just want to wipe it out. This is this is somewhat dirty soapy water now. I just got done doing the other one. So, but I normally use, you know, I pour a little bit of. I probably shouldn't have the bucket directly underneath my iPhone, just in case I drop it. That would be bad. So, anyways, you know, normally when I do this. I put a little bit of automotive soap, you know, car wash soap on the bucket, like I'm washing a car. Then I put some, you know, fill it up with water. So it's a little bit soapy water basically, so it's not too grimy, you know. So there you have it. So now it's been wiped dry or clean now, clean. So we take our 1500 grit and we simply just. You can't put too much pressure on it because I have to hold it with one hand, not unusual. So, so you know what? I don't want to end up dropping my phone, so I'm just gonna show you real quick, and then I'm gonna put you back when I'm done. So you, so you want to sand this way, and then this way, then either this way or this way. So you basically just want to sand in three different directions. You know, and yeah, I go circular and get the corner. Um, the reason being is if you just keep sending it this way, you're gonna put a, even though it's 1500 grit, you're still gonna put a line going that way. So when you, and it might show, it might not, but you know, when you have a line going this way, and then you now you send this way, you know, different direction. So you're now going this way. So you're knocking down that line. 
you're knocking down the grooves and then you sand the opposite way, you know, same thing. So you just don't want it to where you keep sanding the same direction and basically you end up with a bunch of line going this way. So you just run the risk of it showing after you paint, especially clear coat. Uh, so let me go ahead and finish this. I gotta do this and then this and then dry it and then I'll come cut you back. Okay, now I've sanded it, dried it, wiped it with wax and grease, so that's how it looks up close. There's still some spots, but nothing too big, you know. So, let me go shake up the scan of clear and get going. Now I'm going to try to hold this camera and paint at the same time. If I find it too hard, I'm gonna put the camera down. You wanna get at least three coats. Okay, so let's try this one first. Now, sorry if I'm not getting the what I'm spraying in, in frame because I'm basically just holding the camera straight as straight as I can and spraying it and I'm actually watching what I'm doing um, there's one coat now like I said you want to try to do at least three coats um, Yeah, but it's already starting to look better. Uh, so let me go ahead and put the camera down now. Um, I'm going to put two more coats on this. Let this dry first and then put two more coats. Uh, and then I'll come back when it's done. Alright. There you have it folks. I've got three coats on it. Um, they're still drying. I just finished my first, my third coat. So they're still drying a little bit, so you can't touch it. But it don't look that bad. Now, would I have gotten better results if I used a two-part clear where you got to shoot it out of a gun? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. You know, but if you got one, head, one pair of headlights that you want to do in your driveway, this is five, six bucks. The 1500 grid is about five, six bucks. So you bought $10 into it. If you buy an 800 grid, then you're about $15 into it. Um, you don't have to remove your headlights. You can just tape, you know, tape around it. Um, but for me, it takes me another 10 minutes to just pop the bumper off and remove the headlight on this car. So I went ahead and did it, so that way I don't have to worry about overspray. Um, you know, I basically pop the bumper off, pop the hell out of it, put it down here and start sanding it. And call it good. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Alright folks, there's the finished product. Headlights on. It's getting late in the day. I just washed this, so don't mind the wetness. Um, this should, you could do this in one day. I did it in one day. Basically started at nine o'clock in the morning, pulled the bumper off, pulled the lights out, started sanding, you know, filming. By like 10, 30, 11, I got, you know, done painting it. Then I just let it set outside. I let it set outside longer than I, than you needed to but I let it sit outside and went about to do some things went out with the family went to dinner came back after dinner around seven o'clock start putting it back together uh, and it's now 8 30 so it definitely can be done in one day uh, but there you have it that's how I restore headlights you know looks almost brand new all right, till next time.